I want to make this video. I'm not gonna lie, I was really excited after last week's video, and I'm always excited for Friday. Not just because it's out of school, but just because I get to see what memes are like each week. I mean, as the sign says, a meme's lifespan is only a week, but that's enough for me to have a lot of, get my opinion on the meme, Monday, see Thursday, and then report about it Friday. I can't say that about this week. And the music is very fitting. This is Mother 3's and then there were none. It's very fitting because then there were none memes. I'm not wearing the glasses. There will be no lightning round. There will be no more things on the poster. Because there are no memes to report. It's very sad. I have scrounged the internet and there's not even a meme for me to even lightning round. This episode could have just been a one-off lightning round. But no, there are no memes. Zip, zero. And I always say, we're going through a meme drought. 2018 is the worst year for memes I have seen. That's coming from 2015. Because, looking back, memes used to be so vivid, so extra, so, I don't even know. And I have one story that isn't even a meme and is about a YouTuber. Have you ever heard of Etika? Etika from the Etika World Network. His Twitter got suspended. He blacked it out, but that was just because he was just wanted to black out all stuff. Got suspended, and then he had a mental breakdown on camera. I will not show you any clips. Just look up, and he deleted his entire YouTube channel and his Twitter. There's no way of contacting him. And a lot of people thought that he was going to kill himself. Because on his Reddit, he was posting very cryptic stuff. But, he's fine. I hope he was just doing that as a publicity stunt. Just to, like, get some hype. I'm not sure if he deleted his Twitch. But he deleted his YouTube, which is almost out of a million subscribers. That's a big milestone. And deleted his Twitter, which had like over 10,000 followers. So he basically deleted his entire influence on the planet. And a lot of people say, oh, he was just doing an ARG. This is just an ARG. How are you going to spread the ARG's message if you don't have a YouTube channel? So that was the only story I have. But I think it's time that maybe I will reminisce. I will not put memes on board. I will instead retell of memes from the year 2016. 2016. 2016. May we flashback? This is definitely lightning round music. This is Undertale's Spear of Justice. I'm going to sing. But may I reminisce about 2016. The second best year for memes besides the origin from 2007. Let me explain. I, the memes in 2016 were so good. You had Rotten Robbie, Harambe, um, you had all the Lazy Town memes. Like, I can name so much and I have very vivid memories because you had the B movie script, etc. All the stuff that came from those, the Legend 27. I can name so much because the memes were not only memorable, but they had a deep, deep rooted connection. Rotten Robbie with Stephen Carl Stephenson, may his soul rest in peace. Uh, without that, he would probably not even have lived up until this year. With that me we basically, we extended the lifespan of a human using a meme. With that meme, it funded his GoFundMe page, which which was able to make him pay for medical bills and pay for more chemotherapy to try to keep, try to like reduce his cancer. And he beat cancer twice, and then it came back, and that's what made him pass away. But still, that's a big accomplishment for anything. The meme community single-handedly extended a human's life, and that is probably the pinnacle of memes. Not influence, not exposure, helping somebody. With a meme. 
This, uh, the physics, uh, if I knew that a meme was gonna be able to actually help somebody, uh, you told me that like two, three years ago, I would not believe you. I would just say, well, memes are just fun. Memes are funny. No! Now, you see all these memes, garbage memes. Bowser, garbage. Bongo Cat, garbage. You, the meme landscape has dried. There is no way we can top the seven call seven thing case. There is no way the meme community will ever top that. Ever. 2016 was the single second. No, not second. First. The on, the best year period of memes. Right after the origins of 2007, which had hella memes. But. I'm getting flustered. Audible, you can tell that I'm audibly, like, having a mental breakdown here, alright? Not just because I like memes. Not just because of that. Just because of how the memes had an influence. Memes had purpose. They had an actual reason. And memes... Ew. Memes are not created, they are born. And memes, they just sprout out of nowhere. Like the Harambe, like the Harambe meme, that just sprouted out of a simple event. That event could have been glossed over. But no, the internet decided to take that and just frisbee it. And then that, and it was 7 Call 7 and thing. If the person who never uploads the first We Are Number One, but every time they say We Are Number One, it gets faster, then the meme would have gone nowhere. Ever. The, the meme would have not even gotten exposure. And that still brings me to, still, I'm astonished how a meme helps somebody. And not a lot of people who become memes em embrace the meme community. Not a lot of people do, like, like of course I don't call something, but I'm trying to like, start to like remember people and there's not a lot of people but still I keep on bringing up no, not the memes but the significance of the memes because there were hella good memes there, there were both there's the amazing edits the memes that sprouted off of the we are number one meme from other lazy town songs it was incredible it was the amount of influence the we are number one meme had on the meme community and just simple edits. It, it's astonishing. I am, if you told anybody, any person, that in 2016 that a meme would have as much influence as the weird number one meme, they would not believe you. Because memes before that were just jokes. They were just that. They are funny stuff that only internet users would know about. Now, memes have this big influence. Now, a lot of people think, oh, that's bad. That's ruining the meme community. Because now you got all these normies kind of leaked out to me. I don't care. If the meme's good and funny and is able... It's not the meme's lifespan. I think it's more of how the community can sustain the meme. If a meme is garbage and doesn't deserve and isn't funny... A few people find it funny, but not a lot of people find it funny, it will die. But if the community keeps on thinking of creative, funny, and interesting ways to take that meme and spin it out of control, off the wheels, sails up, that's how a meme survives. And if you keep on adding fuel to the fire with all the other weird number one songs, Seven Colors, Seven Thing coming in, the weird number one meme. If you told the person who made that original video that that one meme would spark such a huge influence, then they wouldn't ever believe you. Memes before the weird number one meme were just jokes. Just internet jokes. Memes after could be significant. And I know I might be holding memes to a golden standard, but if a meme is even able to surpass, they'll, it'll never, but even come close 
to what the weird number one meme had on the meme community, it is getting a 10 across the board, a 15 across the board. It deserves to be praised. That, now, I know I've just been reminiscing, but like I said, the meme drought now is horrible. I didn't even have memes to talk about. Not even, I ha had one thing to talk about, and that was Etika, but that's not a meme. That's just general news. I'm not a news channel. I'm a comedy meme channel. And gameplay, maybe. <sighs> this whole thing was a lightning round. But, that... No meme will ever surpass we are number one. And if a meme surpasses we are number one, I don't know. Like how? Like I'm just thinking that a meme like what's more important than preserving a human life with a meme? Like, are you gonna like cure cancer with a meme? Like you can't can't do that. I don't know how to end this video. Ah. Uh, this has been Mimi Morning Solos. I'm your host, CKG. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Hopefully memes come up so I don't have to just complain. Peace.